Hi, this is Deborah Atkinson, the author of You Still Got It, Girl, The After 50 Fitness Formula for Women. And I'm here to address a question that is not a very popular one and not very many fitness professionals address it. And the question is, why does personal training cost so much? And here's another caveat. If it's not costing enough to make you think twice about the cost of it, you might want to consider the credibility and the experience level of who's charging you for exercise advice. So here's why. When you break down really what happens in a quality exercise session with a qualified personal trainer, you show up at that meeting fresh, knowing all of your own history, knowing all of your exercise past and the things you've tried and the things you started, the things you've stopped. Before you ever get to that first meeting, that trainer has done some preparation. They have hopefully asked you a few questions before you even got there. Just got a little background about you and your unique story so that they prepared with the right forms and the intake. While you're sitting there, you are indeed paying for that time. But what you're also paying for is the time that they spend afterward, looking at what kind of a program makes the most sense for you, what kind of a progression makes the most sense for you, not just based on your physical status, not just based on how hard you breathe on that treadmill test or your body composition or your weight or what you've told them about your knees or your hips or your shoulders but also about your personality and what they can tell from your past history of maybe stopping and starting that didn't work for you as a motivator. They're factoring in your physical, your emotional, and your cognitive as well as your calendar schedule and what else that you have going on. And coming up with a program takes far more time than you might suppose. Nobody's using or who's worth that higher price is using a format or a template to design your exercise program. They are designing it based on you, the you that they have in front of you. So to do an hour exercise session, a personal trainer probably puts in about two hours and 45 minutes when you calculate it all out. So the per hour that you're paying is far less than you might be thinking. And with most personal trainers, you have some access to them via email, phone, text, or whatever their format is so that you can ask them questions after the fact, between sessions, get some support. Some of them, in fact, require that you text them and give them some numbers. I, in fact, will do that just to keep you honest because we know how easy it is to put exercise off so there are a lot of factors that go into personal training and it's not just that you're paying for the time that you're there. So if you've got a trainer who's attentive, who thinks and looks at you like you are the only person in the room, they're probably well worth it.